Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now, for those of you who have been dreaming of building an empire with your better halves, now this is the time for you to take notes, get your pen and papers and start to take notes as we're joined by a couple that constantly run a business together. They're the co-founders of So Fresh, and I have with me Goke and Bimbo Balogun. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. I think everyone doing so that much. cool. I like this, you know, so much to much talk. Nah, it's just coincidental. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. right. So, I <laughs> I had planned to wear this and I was surprised to see him pull Ooh, out wow, like mine. his shirt as well. Does this like mind, you know, does it reflect in running a business? Do you also realize that you're thinking the same thing a lot of the time when it comes to strategy, implementation and business? Absolutely, absolutely. So for us, you know, starting this business together was a very deliberate decision. It wasn't what we must do. We took that decision because we can see that we share similar values values in terms of decision making, leadership, money, family, and so it was easy for us to agree to do this together. And of course in between with all the drama that would come, we are always able to come back to connect because there is that value that seals us together. Yeah. So for us working together has been beautiful. I'll come it's back to beautiful. talk about you know the <laughs> Not so beautiful part, okay. but let me speak a little with Goki. Tell us about how you you both are the co-founders of you know So Fresh, and yes. usually sometimes it would be maybe one person started the business and the other person joined later. Was it that way for you, or was it something that after marriage you both decided we need to start something? How did the journey begin? Um, so we basically you know started together. Um, so I had the idea, you know, I, I I got the inspiration, and then I shared it with her. And so together, right from the planning stage, from the decision stage, from strategizing, you know, envisioning the road to market and all of that, we did all of that together. And um, so I was in, you know, like full paid employment. Um, she had always run her own, you know, private business. So she had more time at the beginning. So she was a bit more focused on it. And then like after two years, she even, you know, left her law practice to focus 100%. I was still 50-50 for about another three years until I also left my my own primary assignment as well at that time. And then both of us focused 100%. So we've always been in it right, together from right the from the start. Mm -hmm. So you both left your different backgrounds. What was your background before you um, swung into this fully? Sorry about chemistry, but I've had experiences across different lines. Marketing, sales, business development, operations, production, oil and gas. I also worked in the food industry for like six months at um, Mr. Biggs. Right? So at the end of the day, you, are, you have found yourself in the right path again, yes, back to doing eventually. food. Okay, yeah. let's, people, let's, now that you, you've given up your practice in law, you know, okay. your law practice for doing this business full time, okay. given the benefit of hindsight, if you knew that you were going to end up in food practice, would you still have studied law? I'll say yes. So at the beginning, when this idea, you know, was shared, all I saw was people, like from young, you know, from my childhood, I've always loved nurturing people, you know, bonding with people. And so when we moved to Lagos, I went for my HR professional certification. So as an HR professional, all I saw was people because the business model was retail. So there's no way we are going to be opening stores without having people to train and to build teams. So that's knowledge my background in law in terms of helping to you know arrive at you know good judgments when you're dealing with people it has worked really well you know for me now and so now i even help businesses build teams and help them to lead well with so for those people. of us who are who are not practicing with what we studied in school please do not feel bad at the end of the day no knowledge is lost at there's all. always a way to implement Absolutely. the knowledge gained from university and, and apply it. Is that it, it it all connects um so like like i said you know I, I worked in the food industry for a while i never knew at that time i was going to run food business i was in operations i didn't know i was going to have to run operations and, but you know Starting this business, everything I learned in, at different stages of my life all came together. You know, it all it's all making sense now. Let's now. talk about you know division of labor. How did you decide who does what? You know, where one person's jurisdiction starts and ends in terms of reaching the final decision for the company. So it was very easy. So right from the start, we 
what we, we play to our strengths. So, you know, oh, what are your key. strengths? Mm -hmm. What are your expertise? Mm -hmm. What are you good at? You know, it was never what do you a enjoy case of, doing, yeah, naturally. what do you enjoy doing? What part of this business do you enjoy doing? So we, we separated that right from the start and everybody had their own roles. Of course, even as, as, as it evolved, you know, we, we switched roles. So there was a time, you know, I was like also in charge of HR and then she was in charge of operations. So per time, we tried to separate the roles. So everybody is clear what they're doing in the business. We are not in, infringing on each other's, you know, rights. So, you know, it has always been looking at this, your strengths and sometimes what do you like to do at the current moment? So there was a time, you know, like, you know, I, I said I wanted to try my hands on something different I had not done in the business before. And then, you know, I, I did that and then she switched through. So, you know, we've always just, you know, moved in and out, you know, like that. You know, now, you, you, both of you sitting here looking all sweet, wearing an cool and giving us <laughs> these sweet gifts, <laughs> makes it look like it's such a beautiful journey without hiccups. Let's talk about the hiccups, Bimbo. How would you, how, what would you say have been some of your biggest challenges working together as a couple Knowing that, you know, this time around is not, it's not you're, you're keeping the emotions aside and knowing that whatever you can do at home, you probably can't bring to the office. How has it been managing emotions in the workplace? Yeah, so from, at the beginning, it was quite hard for me to switch, you know, in between playing my role as a wife and at work, you know, as uh, a business partner, so to say. And so I remember vividly an experience where I was trying to chat him up to tell him about what's going on in business and maybe applying for something. He told me to send a mail. Like, I can't do this on <laughs> WhatsApp. I was, in my head, I'm like, really? So I'm going to be talking with my husband on email. But I think it, 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 it dawned on me that business relationship is what it is. And so we need to allow some form of formality and official stuff in it. So, Sometimes I'm so angry at the fact that maybe my idea didn't fly. And, but along the line, I got to understand that uh, the intention behind either allowing the decision or not is not for personal you know, ego or anything. It's just uh, at that point in time, what's the best decision to, to take? And so sometimes it takes the final decision. Sometimes I take, I think it's about the decision making Part sometimes that gets me feel oh why should your idea always fly or why should my idea never you know uh, be looked into but all in all the most important thing which I said at the beginning was ensuring that you, there is an alignment of values and in terms of money decision making in terms of family in terms of managing people and really caring about them I, I think for me it's key. And it's what I found in my husband. And so it makes me feel safe and secure to keep working, you know, with him for as long as we can do this for. What would you say are some of the tips that have helped you? Some people will tell you that from time to time, maybe they go for counseling or they have mentors that help them. What would you say? Or they have to read books together, you know. Have you, have you had to do any exercises in particular to help you work together as partners in business? How do I answer that? So, um, I'm a very strong believer in like do it yourself. And I believe when two people come together, it's, it's important that they can work things out by themselves. So, I, I, my concept is also that once you begin to invite, you know, third, third party unnecessarily into your relationship, you, might you probably never win yourself out yes. of that. So, we've always talked things, you know, out together. Yes. Um, there's always open communication. Everybody knows what I'm thinking, what she's thinking. So we try as much as possible. So even when it's difficult, we still find a way to talk through it so that everybody understands from the other person's perspective. So in terms of um, counseling, no. Um, mentors, not really. So basically, you just do we it just, all by yourself. We, we you wing it, it and learn from yeah, the experiences. We Okay, what should we expect, you know, from you? Are there any things you're working on, you know, recently? Or in, are there things we should look forward to? Uh, so, you know, um, one of the things that inspires me is when I'm, I'm able to, want to teach people about running a business in Nigeria, because, you know, we've done this for nine years now. It's and the business tough. is thriving, it's growing. Yeah. Um, so I always like the opportunity. And um, come June 1st, I will be taking a master class at the Mary Stem Green Fest. And also, we will be exhibiting 
Because why I like that first is also because it's encouraging people to live, you know, healthy lifestyles. So they're bringing together, you know, different vendors, you know, different, you know, business people in the healthy space sector. Yeah. So I, I think it's a very powerful um, platform for people to come and learn, you know, and, and meet together. I mean, if you go on my page, you on so on, on so fresh page, you'll find more information. All right, before I let yeah. you go, final words. You no, know, and I, I, Bimbo, you should have this one. To people who are looking to get to start businesses with their partners, some people are not even married. They're looking to get married, but one of their dreams would be to build an empire someday with their partners. You've done this successfully for nine years, so you've learned along the way, and you're definitely some sort of an authority in this regard. What would you say are some of the things that, tips that you'd give to them? Okay, so I'll say know yourself first know yourself, what do you want to achieve on a personal and a career goal level? And then know your partner. So why do you want to go into partnership with this person? Must you? And if you really have to, why? And so your why is where you find that connection and you're able to align. And I'll say from the onset, have clearly defined roles. Because as you move along without having clearly defined roles, you cross paths and Mm, it just might be so discomforting. So have clearly defined roles and let everybody know what's the reward for doing you know, what I do because that's also a good motivation for getting the journey you know, on. And absolutely always agree. So for us, 100% uh, of our success has been on the fact that we agree uh, a lot of times. So you will disagree, but at the end of the day, you must agree on, on, on a position and support each other. Sure. So I'll say support each other and at have, the end of the have, day, it's have not an you aligned vision. Him. It's no. two of you working yeah. together. together as a yes. team. But yes. thank you so much for sharing your inspiring story. And um, we look forward to, we wish you all the best with your masterclass happening on the 1st of June. June. How can people find out more information about all that you're up to and um, your masterclass as well? Okay, so they can go on SoFresh page, and we're also partnering with um, Mary Stem, so they can go on their page on Instagram as well and find, you know, details, register. It's a free event. Oh, and it's brilliant. And it's going to be all day. Yeah. A free event. And there are also other fantastic, you know, speakers that have done so well in their fields as well. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you know we're all about giving you back and empowering you and ensuring that you live the best quality of your life. So if you will be interested in learning how to navigate through these waters of running a business with your spouse and learning a lot about healthy eating, uh, healthy living, it's a free event on the 1st of June. Please visit the Mary Stem page for more information. To enjoy more of this, our Ogun get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.